So when people say to me, well, Marion, why are you talking in a Catholic church? I mean, after all, Catholics don't have abortion. Oh, yes, they do. Oh, yes, they do. Make sure all your churches of all denominations are stocked with, your, with brochures, by the way. They, we've saved two babies just from women picking up a brochure. One woman called one day and she says, I'm, I'm scheduled for an abortion. I'm standing in the back of this church and I read for the first time my baby has a beating heart and even fingerprints. And I said, where are you? And she told me she was in southern Minnesota. And, and I said, well, is that the church you go to? She says, I don't go to church. She says, I ran in here to get out of the rain. Isn't God good? <laughs> She found the brochure on a radiator in the back of a small church, and I mean small, in a country church. So God can use anything. We need to be walking billboards and brochures for everyone. Here's the biggest statistic of all. 90% of all women who get an abortion said they did it to please or protect someone else. That's why our billboards don't address the pregnant woman. We don't say pregnant need help. No, we're going to talk to her parents, to her boyfriend, to her husband, to her grandmother. We had a woman who called one day and said, my son is 26, he's a professional, he lives with his girlfriend. Why these kids don't get married, I don't know. But she said he came and said she's pregnant and we were going to have an abortion. And she says, you know, I wouldn't have interfered, I would have stayed out of it. But I saw your billboard here that said, Grandma says I've got my daddy's eyes. And I thought to myself, I'm connected to that baby. I said, you are, go get him, honey. Did you tell him? <laughs> She said, I did. She was calling from Washington State. She said, I did, and I wanted to say thank you. That's the power. We had a father and a mother put their college-age daughter in a car and drive down I-35. If any of you have driven that four-hour drive from the Iron Range, you'll know we happen to have a few billboards along the strip. We could use more. It was the father who called and said, we thought abortion was the best decision for her because we want her to stay in college. But I got to tell you, he says, your billboards just tore at our heartstrings. It was the father who changed his mind. The girl, by the way, were convinced never wanted to have the abortion. No woman wants an abortion. Every woman I've worked with, and I've worked with plenty that have had abortions, will tell you it was panic, it was fear, it was pressure. Sometimes from well-meaning friends, school counselors, husbands, boyfriends. I had a woman call the other day and she was nine months, but she had been married nine months ago. She was just discovered she was pregnant. She called her husband at work. She was so thrilled. He said, get an abortion. I never signed up for this. She said, I never knew. I never knew he didn't want children. Sometimes they're not at all prepared. We need to do everything we can to reach out.